What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video on this XV750 build. Now, in the last one you saw, we pretty much got the bike mostly built and sorted out. We got it running, we went for a ride down the yard in it and it is very loud. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with the way it has turned out. And now it is time to begin stripping it to pieces. But before that, let me just explain to you a couple more little bits that I've done that I hadn't really thought about. So obviously the bike's just been up on the stand held by the front wheel mount for quite a while and we needed to sort a side stand out. So here is the new side stand. Now I'd been messing around with the original side stand off the bike and I'd cut it way too short so we couldn't use the one off the XV. So what we've done is this is the one from the ZX that we've used. We've shortened, cut the plate off and re-welded the plate on. I've taken the bracket from the XV um, side stand and welded that onto here as well and we've used the original pickup point for the spring for that so we've got to cut that little knobble off there to tidy that up but that was one little job done and the bike's sitting on got a nice lean to it so yeah that's one job that's done the other thing we needed to do was this so all the way through this I haven't really thought about it at all because I was more focused on sort of the design and aesthetics of the bike Obviously, to ride it on the road, we're going to need one of these. So all we've done is bent up a piece of bar like that. And that is then going to just have a bolt on it. And obviously not close to the wheel, but have a bolt, a couple of bolts through it to hold that into place. Now, what we are also going to do, whatever number plate we decide to use, what size or whatever, I'm going to cut a 2mm steel plate that's the same size as it, that that will, or it will bolt through. This will be tapped, it will bolt through into that, which the plate will go through. We're also going to be fitting, which I've again, handy having a parts bike. I've nicked this or I've taken this from the tail tidy of the ZX. This is going to be a number plate light. So we've just cut a rectangular steel out. We'll have a little bobble on the top that this then goes into and it will shine a light down to give us a number plate light. But those are two little jobs that I just, to be honest, completely forgotten about in the last video. They're done now. So it's now time to start ripping this to pieces. And I've got, you can see him hiding in there. I've got a little visitor that's going to come and help me strip this to pieces. So let's get it ripped to pieces and we can start working out what we're going to paint, what colour, and see how good my sandblaster is. So let's jump into it.
Now guys, that really didn't take long at all. Engine is back on the stand, frame is on there, a few other bits and pieces are on here and the rest of it is sat up on the racking over there, ready for me to start working through and get everything prepped and ready for paint or whatever we are going to be doing to it. So first thing I'm gonna jump on with looking at is I wanna delete a load of bits from this frame. So brackets that we're not gonna need, these pipes which were vacuum lines that we're not gonna need, clips and brackets here, bracket here, we're not gonna need this vent hole or this one. These can get cut off as well, and we're going to plate these up so it's all nice and clean and tidy. These can go. So there's a fair bit to do to that, and then we've got to finish welding up the seat frame. There's a box of bits in here that all need to go through the sandblaster and get cleaned up, prepped, ready for the finishing process. So I'll just shut this on. We'll make a start, and you'll see me back when we've done a bit. That is some dirty hot work. Look at the state of me, I'm absolutely covered. But we've got a couple of bits done, that's quite warm still. So you can see on the frame, we've gone round, we've removed a few brackets, tidied a bit of these up, removed these brackets here. And then if you remember before, here and here, there were two pipes coming down that were, cold air feeds there, where the ignition is now gonna go. Air came in, went up through the frame, and then down through these two holes to feed the carbs. We don't need them anymore, so I've blocked them in and got rid of them. Frame is pretty much dealt with now, other than one little job we need to sort out is when you put this stem in, the steering stop completely misses. So we need to extend the steering stop. So what I've done is drawn, you can see that, drawn on a bit of card, worked out where it wanted to be, the shape it wanted to be, cut a new one out. So we're going to cut this one off now. While we're going on, and that is going to be the frame about done. Here we are a couple of days later so as soon as i got that welded on i had to drop tools and go because i had somewhere to be but that is on welded on hardly the neatest welding in the world but it's on chuck this up here and we've got steering stop steering stop so that's that little bit done and pretty much that frame now i think we've got everything cut off and sorted out that we wanted to, to remove so i came in yesterday and didn't pick the camera up because i didn't really know how long i was going to be in here for um and I managed to actually get a little bit done. So what I've done is I've remade this plate here and I've remade this plate here. Now, first reason I've remade them is because they were made out of one mil last time and I've made them out of two mil this time, just to give them a little bit more sort of rigidity. And I've also made this one to the shape of the inside of the fuel tank. Now, obviously it clears everything it needs to, but it just gives us maximum area to be able to um, mount things and run things and have things a little bit neater. I've also 
drilled some 25 mil holes and put some rubber grommets in them so that all the cables come up through those holes nice and neatly and we're not going to get any chafing on anything. I've had a bit of a play and a fiddle with some welding round here as well and tidied that up as well. So that was pretty much my Friday, but like I said, I didn't film though because I didn't know how long I was going to manage to be here. I want to say a massive thank you to Richard from Main Automotive for coming over and giving me a hand to rip the bike to pieces. It had taken me a lot longer than the hour it took us to strip it all the way down. If you don't already, go and follow him on Instagram. He's got some absolutely amazing modern classics in stock. He's always getting new stuff in, so if you're in the market for something like that, go and check him out. We've still got a lot to get done on this bike before we can go get in any paint processes or powder coating or anything along them lines. Somehow I've got to work out how I'm going to clean the engine because it won't fit in my sand blaster. The guys that are doing my vapour blasting have said that that won't fit in their vapour blaster either and I don't really want to go breaking it down. So that might be a tedious little job trying to clean it by hand or something, but we'll we'll come to that at another point. Seat needs to go off to the upholsterers because I've got pretty much decided on what I want to do with that. The rear subframe, that needs all this assembly breaking down, oil taking out of it, cleaning down, sandblasting, prepping, ready for finishing. All my brake linkages and things like that, they all need sort of finishing off. Fuel tank needs a fuel draining out of it, back end welding up, paint stripping off and it all dressing ready. Side stand, again, all needs preparing. So yeah, we've still got so much to do. But I think what I'm going to do next week, I'm supposedly got the whole week in here, which is more than likely going to end up changing because it always does. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to bother filming any of it. I'm just going to get my head down, get everything prepped and sorted. And I'm hoping that the next episode will be about what finishing processes we're going to do to all of these parts to get this bike looking spanking. So guys... I know this has hardly been the most interesting episode that I've ever done, but it's another step in the process of doing these bikes and not everything is mega exciting. But we're gonna leave this one there. So until next time guys, enjoy. <laughs>